Right, here we are again. We've been down off the, off the side of the Land Rover to pick up the the Land Rover strap. This is has got. I don't know if you can see. It's got a Land Rover written on it. This is an approved Land Rover strap. It says, "Any road." This comes with my Land Rover, and uh, I've rolled it up because it doesn't come like this. It comes all wrapped together. But I just wanted to show you. A lot of people don't wrap them this direction. They wrap this inside the, the loop and they go around the top. And the reason you shouldn't do that is because when you're stood on the ground and you're trying to throw this over the top of the car, this bit is heavy and it bashes onto the car. This is not going to cause any damage. And you want to hold on to this because this is the bit that you want to hook onto something, you see. Uh, and so you want to hold on to this because normally these are a bit longer and the weight stops this from dangling off so when you throw that over the weight of this on the other side sort of pulls this up and then you can go around the other side and you can fiddle about with a ratchet strap um otherwise this would be falling down scratching your car or the, on the floor and the dirt and all that kind of stuff so you shouldn't do it any road there's lots of lots of people have different reasons for doing it the the idea b behind putting this in in the loop is you have extra weight to throw it against the wind but if you if you get if you get good then you you don't need that you just need good practice now hook it on the inside can you see like that that's the best method because you don't really care about the damage on the inside and it wraps around and so you don't scratch the outside the downside to this method is that as soon as you let go the thing falls off well this is the best method so i don't know i'm hoping you can see this you take this little bit of I'm trying very hard to use this machine to, to so you can see properly but you take this hook with the hooky bit up like this and you sort of wrap it all the way round sort of an underneath on the inside rail if that makes sense and put it up here so you can see on the inside rail and then on the opposite side you do the same so here's your ratchet and you've got the same sort of mechanism on the other side now there's two ways of doing this of course you can wrap it round like a loop and shove this back through here on some of them or through here like that and so you've got this sort of a, a sort of a mechanism but these aren't my favorite because it can bind with this mechanism this ratchet mechanism here so i don't like doing that but it is possible and every one of these is different so some of them have a bit more room and some of them you can just sort of hook through where where this bit is here which is actually better uh, because then you can it's out of the way and you make a nice little loop and it's all out at road you see but we're just going to do the same as we did on this side we'll just hook this round on the inside so here's my ratchet here's my up look on the open on the inside like i think and just hook this round and then you have to try and hold this now i do it with my forearm like with my elbow whatever all this together and then the thing with the ratchet strap is to make sure that this bit which is open is in line with your your tail so you have to ratchet this chap here uh move it with this lever like this i should let go of that so you can see uh move this like this until this is sort of this is at right angles and then this is just open and then you've got make sure that this is flat which is why i hold it with my elbow and then run it through your fingers until you get to the tail the end shove it through that bit there now a lot of folk a lot of folk take that end this one and then they shove it through that hole there can you see perhaps you can't see but they take this and they shove it through that bit there and then they pull it out the back and and there's there's no benefit to that whatsoever and so actually what it is is a nightmare and you shouldn't do it it's a pain in the neck what you should do is bring it down the front so it's out of the way and the reason for that is so you can bring this ratchet back up like this and then you can pinch it with your thumb at the bottom and just flow this out of the way and then you can ratchet until carefully watching your fingers so you don't trap them in this mechanism until it binds on itself underneath here and that's why it should be on the outside if you don't do it like that you end up with this tail on the back and you can't do anything with it i see loads of people do it, it drives me nuts because all it does is it makes it harder to undo the thing because you can't you can't pull this tail loose and it makes it really hard to undo this this cam because all this stuff's 
on the back where you don't want it. And then you just nip it up a couple. Now, this is where that technique I told you about comes in handy. You take this, you make a little fold in it like that, and you must have some loose because as you ratchet this, you're going to take some slack up. Shove this underneath here, and then hold it down and then just ratchet away. And there it is. Now, when you put this down, it's important you don't leave it up. It's important that it goes flat and clicks into place. I'm just going to do this the other old round so you can see how we work on this side, if that helps. Same thing, other side. Wrap this round. Here's me, my strap. Take this piece, wrap this round. There are other ways, like I said, you could wrap this all the way around and if you wanted to you could fasten it to the back like this or you could fasten it on itself like that i don't like this mechanism because it, it comes off but i'm using this here you can see the inner rail maybe you can't but the inner rail is a nice securing mechanism 90 degrees on this piece of, on this uh, uh, ratchet here making sure that your hole is easy to thread into keep it down with your elbow so you don't lose the tension on your hook and the hook falls on the floor that's a drama. Shove this bit through here. Remember to keep it on the top. Don't poke it through the back. You're not an idiot. Don't follow all those Muppets that shove it through the back and then you end up with the tail wrapping around itself and backwards. No good to man the beast, that. Pull it through so you can use it. Is you've got to pull this tail to get rid of all this slack because you've only got so many turns on here before it starts to push this mechanism back, before this circle, this roll of canvas this roll of webbing starts to push open this cam lock here and then it stops working so it's very important that you make sure i'm just going to loosen that off that this is all the way through and this is as tight as it gets you can hold it down here which is another mechanism of doing it that way you get your finger out of the way of the mechanism if you hold it here so you've not got a lot of slack and then you just let it feed back through your thumb until it's tight and then again, you can take this little bit, put it down there out the way. Um, when you do trucks, when you when you sheet trucks and, and strap loads down on trucks, of course, you always use the side that's nearest to you and you'll see them bundled up behind the straps as they go on the side of the trailer. That way they're out of the way, but it's easier enough up here. And then just give it a snug. One more, I think. And there you are. That's as firm as it gets. Won't get any tighter than that. Pulls the whole lot down. Now the downside to using this mechanism is with this sort of a this sort of a, a load is this it's very thin and so you're trying to pull it down using that long strap whereas with the cam mechanism I was pulling it right down here you see and so it's possible with this if you wanted to you could slide it this way and this way a touch my heater's going to kick in and then we don't hear anything again now remember I said that this lock here this cam mechanism if you look here there's a little pin and it sits underneath of those teeth and that's how it operates as you pull this back you've got to release this lever uh, and as you pull this lever back it allows this to work and then you can see that as you spin this it spins the whole cam mechanism so to release it you've got to release this and you've got to get the cam so it sits on the top of this release piece here. This cam here is the release, uh, the release cam as it were. And so you've got to get that on top of there. I'm just going to zoom in. So you take this little bit and you can see these little inside lever chaps. That's doing the work against those cams there. And that you've got to release all the way over to the outside until you're on this cam here. And you're on the beginning of that cam. And then you've got to just pull it up. I have to move out of the way here, else I'm going to bite my own fingers, aren't I? Oh, there one. So then we've got to just release it like that. Couldn't do it as I would normally do it because, of course, I'm holding the camera. But anyway, that's not what I brought you up here for. What I brought you up here for is this chap. So this rubber that I said was very helpful, this this rubber here that I've got is only to to stop these cans rubbing away on, on, the, on the surface here. Uh, to stop them rubbing a giant, you know, to take the surface of the aluminium. It does no, nothing other than that. But underneath here, 
I'm going to just peel this back. Underneath here is a Thule uh, style tea groove. And you can put in here, you can put a, like a, a, a sort of a special bolt with a flat uh, outside. And, uh, and then you've got the bolt on the top. And you can screw in uh, eye bolts and all sorts of things, of course, then, and the, the, all that. And you can use the eye bolts in conjunction with this um, with this tail here, you can see now I've come up here. You can see how I've how I've used this sort of uh, this sort of uh, inside sort of bar to pull this hook on. You see, if you see what I mean, and that's it's actually a nicely designed thing. They designed it like this for a reason, because Land Rover are Land Rover, aren't they? Um, but obviously, the, the, these slidey bar chaps they've got a bolt in here. You see, which are actually. Uh, security torques if you can look in here there are security torques and they're a nightmare to get off and I advise you to buy very solid quality tools uh, to remove it I bought a cheap one I needed to pull it out in a big hurry I bought a, a cheap one um, from Princess Auto and, and, it, and it broke on me and snapped off and it's a bit of a nightmare really because <laughs> I now can't get it undone if you see what I mean because it broke in there and rounded that the torques off. Um, anyway, this fits into this uh, this groove, this T groove here. You can see, um, but the sides of the T groove are rounded and they're rounded for a reason. They're rounded because it fits this uh, these hooks for the Land Rover ratchet straps nicely. But I'm not a fan of it because it, it scratches. I prefer using me me cam straps, which don't really scratch anything anyway any road um, that's what these are for but uh, these t-bars here these t-slots you can use an eye bolt and then of course you can use this chap uh, you can use it to through the eye bolt and, and then over the top if you see what I mean and you can move these up and down all the all the way along this you know all the way along this piece here um, the downside being of course if you wanted to, to have load uh, restraint through the rubber at the same time as the eye bolts then you've got corolle in this in this rubber which may or may not be to your pleasing no, it's not to my pleasing which is why i've used it these side rails are extremely strong they, they're much stronger than the than the ones on the front runner i have owned a front runner in the past and these rails are much stronger they're much better designed the front runner ones are just a sort of a flat sort of uh, bar if you see what i mean some t slots in the top and bottom but this has a much deeper profile as you can see it's what is it two and a half inches here and then you've got all sorts of stuff on the inside and you've got this inner rail here it's a far better far bigger bulkier sort of a, an affair uh, right i should sit down here and say thank you very much <laughs> uh, for liking and subscribing i hope that was a useful video um i have got a few more things that i'm going to to chat to you about uh, but I'm back to work for another month now and I'm pushing 12 hour days or 13 hour days at the moment so I'm, I don't have a lot of time when I get home to either edit or do any filming so I'm, I'm kind of a bit stuck um, and hopefully you'll just bear with me while I've <laughs> finished this bit of job, this bit of work and then um, and then I'll be back to spitting things out more frequently any road there you go thank you very much again for listening I hope I've been useful and we'll see you next time for more of the same Cheerio!